Complex numbers surround us in our daily lives. If you use a digital camera or a cell phone or an LCD, chances are complex numbers are heavily involved in processing all of the signals inside your device. The mathematics used to produce pictures in medical imaging heavily involves complex analysis. Bridges are designed using complex numbers to analyze the stresses in these structures. When working with alternating current, complex numbers are needed to describe the electricity. Complex numbers are needed to analyze how fluid or air flows around an object, and this understanding is necessary in the design of cars or airplane wings, for example. Hello, my name is Petra Bonford taylor And my name is Edward Taylor. We are professors in the mathematics department at Wesleyan University and will teach you the beautiful subject of complex analysis. While this is advanced mathematics, we'll make it accessible and enjoyable to anyone interested in exploring this topic. You do need to have some background in calculus, but we'll remind you of important concepts as necessary, and enthusiasm is more important than prior knowledge. We'll learn about some beautiful and important theorems, study some of the applications mentioned above, and even go to the frontiers of knowledge as we explore some open mathematical questions. Amongst these open questions is the Riemann hypothesis, which is a conjecture that was expressed by Bernard Riemann over 150 years ago and is, to this day, not answered. We'll discuss geometry and topology. These are the studies of size and shape. Complex numbers are also used to generate so-called fractals. These are geometric objects with a high degree of self-resemblance at all scales. The idea of a fractal comes from nature. Look at these ferns, for example. A fern consists of a leaf, which is made up from many similar but smaller leaves. Each of the smaller leaves is made up from even smaller leaves. The closer you look, the more detail you see. But the detail you see resembles the big picture you began with. Clouds also have an approximate fractal nature, as do these frost patterns, as do snowflakes. Look at this Romanesco broccoli. It is a striking example of fractal-type self-similarity occurring in nature. In this course, you'll learn how to create beautiful, calculated fractals, such as the boundary of the Mandelbrot set, which you can see here. The black object in the center is the Mandelbrot set, and its boundary presents visually striking properties of self-similarity, as you can admire here. We invite you to join us in discovering this most beautiful mathematical subject, complex analysis.